Hey guys, it's Lorenzo with Verify. The election is just days away, so let's walk through what to expect on election day and election night. Let's start with a rapid fire round on your rights as voters. Our sources for these claims are the American Civil Liberties Union and USA.gov. First, are you allowed to use your phone inside the voting booth? This is a maybe, it depends on where you live. While some states allow for electronic devices like phones, others like Maryland and Kentucky have banned phones inside of polling places. So you'll need to double check with your state guidelines. Next, can you still vote if the voting machines are down? While this is an unlikely scenario, we can verify that yes, you can still vote by requesting a paper ballot. Okay, here's another. Can you change your response if you make a mistake on your ballot? Yes, this one is also verified. You can change your response before submitting. You have the right to request a new ballot. Hopefully you're registered to vote already, but what if you encounter an unexpected issue with your registration the day of? Can you still fill out a ballot if you're not listed as a registered voter? We can verify, yes, you have the right to request what's called a provisional ballot. This ballot will be set aside and your registration status will be checked by election officials. If everything seems legit, your ballot will be counted like normal. Next, you've probably seen videos of long lines snaking around polling places, so can you still vote if you're in line when the polls close? Yes, verified, do not leave. You have a legal right to vote, and as long as you're physically in line to cast your vote before closing time, you are allowed to cast your ballot. If someone does challenge any of the rights we just covered, there are voter protection hotlines like the Election Protection Hotline, 1-866-OUR-VOTE, that can help. You can even submit a complaint to the Department of Justice at 1-800-253-3931. Now that you know what to expect at the polls, let's move to election night. With tens of millions of people voting by mail and different ballot deadlines per state, will we have complete results on election night itself? That actually can't be verified one way or the other, and here's why. Traditionally, if a candidate is projected to win 270 of the electoral votes, then the other would concede, and it's all set and done late Tuesday night or super early Wednesday morning. But that's not likely this year, with a record-breaking number of people voting by mail. Almost half of the states will still be accepting ballots that are sent by mail during a small window after Election Day, as long as they're postmarked properly. This means it could be a couple of days before results are finalized in swing states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, who can't begin counting mail-in ballots until the day of the election. Other states who can process ballots before Election Day or have earlier deadlines could have projected results sooner. Remember, while results may come in later than usual, that does not mean we can't trust them. Every ballot must go through a certification process to make sure your vote is counted. Final question, can candidates claim victory before final results are in? Now, no law prevents a candidate from going on social media or giving a victory speech before results are called and certified. But just because a candidate claims victory, it doesn't mean we're done. Our sources, the National Conference of State Legislators and the National Archives. The next step in the election is the Electoral College, which doesn't meet until December 14th when electors from each state cast their votes. Those votes are then tallied up by Congress on January 6th and that's when the decision is made official. Okay, that's all for this very important week. Thank you for watching and please go out and vote. It's your right and duty as an American. If you have a question, text us at 703-873-6603.